How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to Minecraft. If y'all remember last time, we were here in the village trying to figure out how to be a blacksmith. Well, we were finally able to, after a, uh, after a little look online and on YouTube and whatnot, we finally figured it out. We now have a blacksmith. As you can see. We will do this. We're trying to level him up. So we can. So now we have a blacksmith. We now know how to change people's professions. And the way uh, that works is you uh, remove their workstation. And you place uh, down a new workstation. And over time, that will eventually uh, change. They will eventually change their profession into what you wanted them, what you want them to be. So, <laughs> turned out it was easier than we, we were realizing. Of course, we, we didn't know that. We, we just we, we just weren't being able to figure out why it was like BAM blacksmith or as it said toolsmith trying to fix up this uh, fix up all this flowing water it doesn't look right to me stop with the flowing water like that But, yeah, we were happy times. We were able to finally figure out how to make people into different jobs. So, happy day. <laughs> Screw that. I'll just do that and block up that water completely. I wasn't wanting to cooperate with us. <laughs> But now that we know how to make a blacksmith, which is happy time. Really? I hate it when there's water like this. You don't know which is the source block. So, we'll take a couple of pieces of dirt. Make it look all nice. This farm is janky as hell, isn't it? I don't like jank. Jank no look good. This watermelon don't need to be growing. But yeah, so happy that we were able to figure out how to make up. So so happy that we were able to finally figure out how to make a blacksmith. After all the raging we did, trying to figure it out. But now that we have that, we're just buying these stone axes to try to level them up. Since we, since we had that, just. Since we had apparently lost our diamond pickaxe, it's going to be our best bet to try to get a new one is to level up a toolsmith so we can get it. Uh, which I, I'm still very much hating right now that we that we lost our diamond pick, but. Yeah, so <laughs> that really sucks. Uh, 
part of this stuff. Get rid of all this. Blah blah blah. Uh, let's see. We we do have redstone now, so I think we will set up a. Go ahead and set up like our auto cactus composter. This is taking forever. Oh wow, this is like just ran out of fuel. Actually, I think this episode will take down a good bit of trees, these acacia. And get a bunch of charcoal on the go. Since we're since we are here at the house. Get a bunch of charcoal on the go. I need my phone with my notes on it. What did I do with that? Here it is. Sorry, folks. I was looking for my phone with my... Give me a second. I need to... Pull up my notes right quick. Where are they? Here we go. And alrighty. Ugh. Sorry about my squeaky chair if you hear the squeaks. Alright. Now let's get to chopping down this wood. We'll take a few trees worth. There should be like a woodcutter profession. Because I think, I think there's a way to take the villagers and make like auto farms, producing to produce you like a bunch of stuff. If that's the case, there should be like a way to make like a. There should be like a miner and a lumberjack. So that way you can like rig up a whole bunch. That way you can rig up like an auto cobble thing. An auto cobble generator to produce a buttload of cobble and wood and whatnot. That would be that would be incredibly cool. Base vanilla Minecraft with automation. <laughs> I mean, we can we can automate to a point. We can we can set up like an auto melon farm and a, like auto pumpkin farm. The best automation we can do for is just the like, like wheat, beets, and all that, you know, for the farmland. We can rig up like, uh, the best automation we know how to rig up is the little like multi-tiered farm where you pull the lever, water will flow down like seven blocks and then it'll just It'll, it'll go down and it'll just keep falling in like a step fashion and just push all the stuff that we've grown into like a couple of hoppers that lead into a central chest. My question is, does anyone have like a like an auto farm, like an auto setup where they've used a bunch of shit to like to like feed into just like a central chest or a whole bunch of different chests. You know, it's using like mine carts and mine, hopper mine carts and mine cart chests. Like, you know, just, an, just like an incredibly complex tunnel system of like mine carts and rails to where <laughs> It's like everything is everything gets auto harvested. If you if you have something like that, I I, I applaud you. You are way smarter than me. And if you're saying, yeah, yeah, I'm smarter than him, that's not really saying much. I like to think I'm smart in my own way. Everyone isn't. Everyone doesn't have to be as smart as everyone else. As 
Act. Just because you know something don't mean go flaunting it. Uh, it's like, ha ha, I know this. Why don't you know that? And they're like, motherfucker, maybe I don't need to know it because I don't want to know it. Maybe it's, maybe it's not something I find useful. Just, just because you know so, just because you know know something doesn't mean that. Uh, I can't. You can't really say you're smarter than somebody if you know only one thing more than they do. It's like it's like it's like kids. With, it's like it's like if you're a kid and you're doing math problems. It's like. Uh, my li my little kid is so it, it's like my kid is smarter than your kid. He can count. He can do math up to uh, ten. You know, son, what is eight plus two? Ten. Five plus three? Eight. Oh yeah, my kids. Oh no, my kid is smarter. He can go up to 11. Okay, yeah, you're not really that much smarter. It's like, oh, you can, you can, it's like you could, you could do math one, one number higher than me. I mean, that doesn't necessarily say you're smarter, right? Thing I say about uh, when it comes to being smarter, don't flaunt it. It's like, you, oh, it's like you know this stuff. Good for you. Don't be an ass. Because here's the thing: when you're an asshole, you eventually get, eventually you'll get what's coming to you. It's true. Asshole people will eventually, eventually get their world rocked one day. You know, especially those people are just like the extra beyond assholes. They'll either get their, they'll either get their world rocked by like somebody who they thought they were smarter than. They just come out and out of nowhere, just blindsides them with knowledge. Then there's those like beyond assholes who take it to the next level. They usually get their asses whipped. Eventually they'll just, you know, they'll do their little smarting off to some, the wrong person and whoosh, next thing you know they're laying on the ground. And somebody's standing over them. Oh, if you're so smart, how come you didn't see that coming? Because you couldn't. <laughs> just because you're sm just because you're smart doesn't give you the right to be an asshole. It's okay to be an asshole. It's for some time. Just don't be an asshole all the time. Because all anyone who's an asshole will eventually have their world rocked one day. And the great thing about that is it's always fucking funny. Just it's always just funny to just watch those dicks just get put in their place, right? You 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 couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> That's what you get for being an ass. That's what you, it's also like, it's also funny when you watch those smart people who think they know everything get put in their place. Because they'll be like, wait, what? That's not how that's done. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, you're just too stupid to realize that. I'm sorry. Then it just like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're just like flabbergasted at like, I can't believe that. 
it's amazing. They're they're just made they're just made speechless. This is this is the that's the great thing about putting smart people in their place. It's just it's just completely funny to watch how they're you know they're just they're like almost speechless. By by you know what's just transpired. <laughs> That can that kind of stuff can make some for some really funny moments. Just watching those guys be put in their place, you know. And has that ever, has that ever happened to like any of y'all? Have y'all have y'all done that to somebody? You know. Have you? Have you put a smart person in their place? Hmm. You know, <laughs> just just really like let somebody have it. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Sticks in here. Throw these six acacia and get them turned into charcoal. Put these in here. Have those going and making some charcoal. And that gets filled up. oak log in there as well. And it, it only it takes about two sticks to make uh to burn one, one log, so we'll get another two charcoal from this. And so you can watch one and two. And the flames will run out just no. I gave us six charcoal. Put that in there. Alrighty, we'll leave that to go and go collect up more acacia. This way we can have it nice and going. Yeah, I think I think most this, mostly this episode is gonna be us uh, just cutting down some trees and uh, getting wood and making it into charcoal. We, because we pretty soon we will want to make like the auto sheep shearing farm once we figure out how to do that. After I think after we end this episode, I'll go like. Do some research because I, I I try I've tried making an auto sheep farm in creative mode on a, you know a world where it's just you know for fun you know build whatever I want it's a good way to do research when you don't have the ability to like look stuff up. I tried making the auto sheep farm on a creative mode and I just couldn't figure out how to set it up. So I will I will look up a way to do that or look up a video on YouTube and see see how to how to make an auto sheep farm because for the life of me I can't figure it out. Any like auto farms we use I've looked up and because <laughs> I'm not that smart when it comes to using redstone. I can do some basic redstone stuff. I think the most advanced I can get with my redstone is like, make like making like an auto lights system. 
or I can use using like daylight sensors and rigging it up to where like just as the sun goes just when it gets to where it's qualified as night sticky pistons will push like redstone blocks into redstone lamps so it's like I could come in I could I could have uh, the redstone lamps like in the floor and pistons will push push the redstone blocks into the lamps to turn them on so if you stand at a distance you gotta like watch my house just like automatically light up oh, friend hello can I help you with something We don't need your assistance, thank you. Oh boy. Let's... Those are pillagers, I believe they're called. Let's set this up, put all that in there. We will want to kill them. And we, we need to, uh, we, need, we do need to kill them so we can trigger a uh, pillager raid when we go to a village. So, let's do this. Put all this stuff up. Put up our map and axe. We will grab our trusty trident. Bridge, and we will rush them. Well, actually, we'll, well, I think we'll put that off until next episode. Thank you all for joining me in this episode of Minecraft. Please be sure to leave a like, your comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.